Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Now, I've got a lot to share with you, but before we do that, can we call for that daily bread? We're making requests to the Lord. He has promised us daily bread. And David said, it's his character. He daily loads us with benefits. So are you ready? Join me right now. Say, Father, I demand now my daily bread. And I receive it from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Let angels go now and bring that which is for your peace today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Praise God. We were showing you, I was showing you something yesterday from the book of Genesis. And, and we're, we're just going to read. Remember I said, in, in the whole of chapter 1, when God was creating, God was speaking. I remember, we're talking about the glory of Jesus, okay? Our text for, for this whole teaching is from John 17 and verse 22. Now, I've said the Holy Spirit is the glory of Jesus. So now I began to show you something very important from the book of Genesis, from creation itself. How the Father spoke by the Holy Spirit. The Father spoke as the Holy Spirit gave him utterance, okay? Now, I said in Genesis chapter 1, all the Father was doing was speaking. Nothing changed, nothing moved, nothing was physically created until he rested. And I told you yesterday that life as we have it today actually started from Genesis chapter 2, and verse 4, where it says, These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the heavens and the earth. And every plant of the field before it was on the earth, and every herb of the field before it was grew, for the Lord had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the ground. Praise God. So now it says, This is how these things started. So that's why I said that's where life started. <laughs> life as you have it today started from Genesis. So that's actually where the Bible that we can relate with started. Whatever happened in those six days of creation, of creation, happened in the dark. When I mean in the dark, happened behind the scene. Praise God. Now this is what we now see today. And now, why am I sharing this with you? The Holy Spirit was the one giving the Father the utterance when he was creating in chapter 1 of Genesis. Okay. Now, when he was done, God rested. And having rested, the Holy Spirit is the one referred to here in verse 4, chapter 2, Genesis, as the Lord God. He is the one in charge of everything that is being created. And I made a statement yesterday. I said, imagine this now. The Holy Spirit is the one that gave God the utterance. I told you, God was speaking in tongues. As the Holy Spirit was giving him utterance in creation. Now, he finished. The Holy Spirit takes over. And he is bringing to pass physically everything the Father spoke in those six days. Every one of it, the Holy Spirit is not adding his own. He's not saying, hmm, the Father didn't do well. He didn't complete this passage. No, sir. He is following every word accurately as he gave utterance. And so everything that happened, he's the one doing it. And this is the fate of the father. The father is still in his place of rest, waiting to see the manifestation of everything that he has said and finished creating, which he saw that it was good. Oh, okay, what about when man went wrong? What about when they sinned? The father didn't get up to do anything. It's the job of the Holy Spirit to walk it out 
to the perfection of what the Father said. Mm. So, what about when God destroyed the earth with Noah's flood? That means God knew if he had finished saying everything and then he now had to destroy everything and then created it again and, and, and continued like that. That means the father knew man was going to sin. He knew, no! Not as you think. The father had finished the perfection of his creation. He has finished it. So now, the Holy Spirit, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. This is beautiful. Praise God. See, great is the mystery of Godness, the Bible says. Now the Holy Spirit is doing his work. And as the Holy Spirit is doing his work, Satan is doing his work also. So the earth got to a place where there were many people on the earth that were not recognized. Their, their lives were not in the word of God. Oh, yes. You remember angels came in to, to start um, pregnanting women, okay? And then they were giving birth to children whose names apparently were not in the book of life, who apparently God never spoke them into creation. All those children that were born, their, their, their lives were not spoken about. God never spoke about them. But now they are on the earth. So the Holy Spirit doing all this work now had to manage this whole situation. But in managing it, he's bringing everything to the perfection of what God have said. So when the earth got to the point where there was so much wickedness and this wickedness is coming from the place where no word was given, no word was spoken concerning them. So what did he do? He had to bring everything down. Now that's not the father that did that. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. What was he doing? Why did he destroy the whole earth with the, with the flood? Because he's bringing everything into perfection to what God have said. You understand what I'm sharing with you? He's bringing everything to perfection to what God has said. And he started with Noah again. Because God had already spoken about man. He has already spoken about what man would be. But Satan wanted to hijack everything. God's word does not control Satan. You know that, right? So don't think, oh, God created Satan. And then, so Satan is doing everything. No, sir. But let me tell you the truth. There is a word to match every ability of Satan. So when God was speaking, he spoke with every scenario in place. So there is nothing that will happen that will beat his word. That's why the Bible says, whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. There is nothing, nothing that will overcome God's word. Nothing. So the Holy Spirit is at work. And he's doing all these things, bringing them into being, one after the other, according to what the Father said in six days. I said, he's not adding, he's not subtracting. Everything will be according to the excellence and exactness of what God said when he created. Man will be as excellent as God created and spoke him into being. The earth is going to be as excellent as God spoke it into being. Everything, everything, living, non-living, will carry their excellence exactly the way God spoke it into being. God is not managing anything. It is the job of the Holy Spirit to bring forth the manifestation of that perfection according to what God said. So when Jesus came for the redemption of man, all the Holy Spirit was doing in Jesus 
was to bring to pass the excellence and, and perfection of what the Father said concerning man. That's the whole thing he was doing in Jesus. And now, guess what? We are the focus. We are the focus. Jesus died because of us. Jesus died because of man. That man will be perfect as God spoke him into me. That's why Jesus died. I pray you will understand what I'm sharing with you. No wonder Jesus was particular that look, I've got to go. I've got to go. Why do you have to go, Jesus? Because if I don't go, the Holy Spirit will not come. The whole idea of Jesus coming was to pave way for the Holy Spirit to come and dwell in us. Why does the Holy Spirit need to come and dwell in us? The oneness, the oneness, so that he can bring in us the exact words that the Father spoke from the beginning. Oh, Jesus said, this sign shall follow them that believe in me. They shall speak in tongues. Why should they speak in tongues? So that because we are speaking beings. Same way God is a speaking being. So now the Holy Spirit job is to see to it that our words all agree with what the Father said in the beginning. Now you understand what I, what I mean when I say the Father when he was created in Genesis chapter 1, was speaking in tongues. Now, today, we don't speak in tongues by ourselves. We speak in tongues as the Spirit gave us, gives us utterance. The same way God spoke as the Spirit gives him utterance. So I ask you the question, what tongues do you think we are speaking to? The new tongues? You know, I mean, when I mean new tongues, completely new? No, sir. We are speaking words, the same utterance, that the Holy Spirit gave to the Father in those six days. Now, when we speak in tongues today, we are speaking our portion by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is giving us utterance. He's not giving us utterance that are different from what the Father said. He's giving us, now remember, He's the custodian of all those words. Oh, precious Lord Jesus. So if you know this, the kind of perfection you're going to bring into your life by the Holy Spirit is unmatched. I'm telling you, it's unmatched. Because now, you, you, hi, Kulia, when, when you speak in other tongues, not fake tongues that a lot of people speak, when you depend on the Holy Spirit to give you words, utterance, and you are speaking by His Spirit, hey, what are you saying? I'm speaking today, the portion of today that God spoke in six days, in those six days when he was created. So I'm, I'm speaking the portion, the same, the exact words. I'm saying today, because when God spoke in six days, he spoke about today. See, he spoke about today, this Thursday, he spoke about it. And now, I'm here today. You are here today. We have the Holy Spirit in us. And hey, we are, by the Spirit of God, speaking today what the Father created. We are speaking the beauty of today into being. And because we are saying it today, guess what happens? All the angels that are at work today, mm, they hear it from our mouth. They recognize because it tallies with the script that they carry. So when I begin to speak words, that's what Jesus meant when he said they shall speak with new tongues. When I, now, two things that takes place. I call, you, you, you must learn this. I pray, I pray for you. I pray for you. A lot of God's children struggle because they don't know this. You don't need to struggle. I'm telling you, you can live life from the place of rest. 
Struggling is not part of the deal. Holy Spirit, I receive all transfer today. I receive all transfer today. I know, I know the words the Father spoke concerning today, they are with you. I know, I know, I know. Lord, I'm ready to release them because the word, hey, the earth needs to hear. The earth didn't hear when the Father spoke. No, it didn't. It was not created yet. You know what I mean by that? It was not created. The earth is a creation of the Father's word. So it was not there when the Father spoke. But now the earth is waiting, waiting to hear what the Father said about today. <laughs> now, I, I, I come before the Lord. I say, Lord, I know you, you carry the, the, the words for today. The earth is waiting. The endless expectation of the creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Now, now we think it's waiting for us to come and show power. We think, no, it's waiting. We are the messengers. We, we carry the truth. We ca the earth is expecting. What, what's Iconia? Our word, Jesus. Hey, Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Brothers and sisters, we do not speak to only men. We speak to nature. We speak to creation. But how do we know what to say? The Spirit has been given to us. Now, today, mm. So, as I begin to speak, as the Holy Spirit gives me utterance, the earth is hearing, the walls are hearing, the atmosphere is hearing. I say, oh, oh. No, ah, we, we see the light for today. <laughs> we see, we give life to the earth. Oh, God knew it. He knew it. Jesus knew it. So he said, hey, hey, they shall speak with new tongues. They shall speak, they shall speak, they shall speak. When they speak, the earth will hear them. When we speak, the earth hears. It listens to us. It listens. So, hey, hey, maybe you're in luck. Maybe you're in luck. It's not for you to start wondering, oh, am I going to get money from her? Ah, 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 ah. No, no. Hey, hey, Holy Spirit, there, there is provision the Father has been marked for today. He spoke it in six days. He spoke it when he created all things. And not one day lacked. Not one day lacked. So, here am I today. I may have started today without money or without anything that looks like help. I may have started today not knowing where, what, I'm, what I'm even supposed to do. Okay, no problem. Holy Spirit, I, I received the utterance for today. Yeah. <laughs> Eretina masu, rea da barra, bra atur no freti, enzuzie likiatu, bre caro ta nefita, ele calumo sopeliki. That's why you cannot pray in your mind. No! Now I'm not saying we'll disturb the whole neighborhood. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? No, but you can pray in your mind. In Jesus' name I pray. How will the earth hear you? Oh, God knows. It's not about God. Don't you get it? It's not about God hearing you. It's about you giving life to your day. So you begin to speak as the Spirit gives you utterance. sabre. <laughs> listen, listen, if you know this prayer becomes so sweet. <laughs> I lay bread on the skinny seed, it's a cool bar it on my cosa parida. Now, as you're speaking, then you, you begin to listen to yourself. You begin to listen for understanding. Now, what begins to happen? Words begin to come to your mind. Ideas begin to come to your mind. What do you think is happening? The Holy Spirit now is helping you to walk through that day. I, uh, <laughs> my time is up. <laughs> Can you just start right now? Just ask the Holy Spirit to give you utterance for today. You don't have to wait. Start right now. Receive utterance and begin to speak in other tongues. <laughs> Glory to God. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.